Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today is going to be a toy clean out video with Christmas around the corner. I thought this might be the perfect opportunity to get rid of some toys that my daughter no longer plays with and donate or pay them forward to other kids. Don't forget if you like this kind of content to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so I knew going into this project, this organization product that I might get a little overwhelmed just because the amount of toys that my daughter has. So I wanted to go bin by bin and take out everything from each bin, dump it on the floor and sort through what I know she plays with and what she doesn't. And then I go through and I make like categories like I always do with all of my organization videos. So putting stuff like miscellaneous toys together, putting dolls together, baby stuff, etc. cetera. Um, I found that this made it less overwhelming. Here, I'm just showing you one of the categories that I came up with. So she has these um, like little felt pieces of food. Um, so I wanted to make sure I put all of those together so they stayed together. <music> And I know I've mentioned this in previous videos, but the best way for me to do decluttering or organizing stuff is to just not dwell and think about it too much because otherwise I would never get rid of stuff. So when I do decluttering or organizing, I go in with the mindset of just like, am I, do we use it? Do we not? And it's just a quick like yes or no. <music> Honestly, I don't know if any of you feel like this, but as I was going through all of these toys, um, I have one child and she's the only grandchild. So she obviously gets pretty spoiled. Um, but as I was going through this, I'm thinking she doesn't even need need anything for Christmas.
So here I'm showing you what I decided to do to organize all the little toys that my daughter has. She's really into like LOL dolls or any of the dolls that come with like little accessories like purses and shoes and stuff. So I bought these little tackle boxes off of Amazon and they come with like little blue dividers so you can make the sections larger or smaller depending on what you're putting in there. But this has been such a huge lifesaver for all those tiny little pieces. Um, and I'll definitely make sure to have these tackle boxes is linked down in the description box for you. Here I was just showing you that in this little like kennel thing that she has, I found yet more tiny little pieces. So I went ahead and put those in the tackle boxes. And then I was just showing you here that I bought this like little cheap laundry basket from like Walmart and have that as um, a holder for all of her baby dolls. And then here is an overview of the little tackle boxes that I was talking about. I wanted you guys to see them up close just to see how great they are for like those itty bitty little toys and accessories. Um, honestly, like I said before, they've, they've just been a huge lifesaver. <laughs> All right, here's an overview of everything after it's been cleaned and organized. I hope this gives you some motivation to tackle this project um, with your own kids' as toys. Uh, don't forget before you leave to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.